is around noon. It's Wednesday, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, I thought I'd do a day in a life video. Some people have been asking me, or actually I've been asking them on Instagram, hey, do you want me to do a day in a life of an online coach? Just kind of like peek a little bit behind the curtains. And uh, people say yes, so here we are. I apologize, I'm not a vlogger, YouTube whack lord, broke influencer. I don't know how to make these things entertaining. Uh, quite frankly, I don't care. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to be uh, as, as accurate as possible, just kind of document along the way. And I'm sorry that my voice is a little less less powerful in the morning. And uh, let's go, let's go do it. So I'll see you, see you around. All right morning routine good question what do i do in the morning step one lots of water stay hydrated by the way we're in uh, finland and ooh, almost spilled the water we're in finland uh, it is uh, by the time of me shooting this the quarantine is going on so i kind of got stuck here i'm filming oh you don't want to say anything here no, you can just, uh... fine oh i'm burning burning Step two is usually I sit somewhere, somewhere outside and tank a little bit of vitamin D. Step three is uh, this phone, uh, replying to people. Um, people message me on DMs, people email me, uh, people reach out to me on other platforms, asking about their situations, uh, you know, telling me they want to become free as online coaches or as online service providers. And yeah, that is how I get my clients. They message me, I message them back, jump on a call and that's it. And that's also, by the way, the same way that we're teaching our client, obviously, because I, I have a relatively big brand, relatively big. This is what we teach our clients, uh, even when they're getting started from zero, we call this manual lead gen. I figure out where people in their target audience are online, right? Are they hanging out on certain internet forums and Facebook groups and so on and so forth. We teach them how to message these people, how these prospective clients could reply and how they get them on a call. And that's literally the process. We teach our clients to get to their first four to five figures a month. Once they crack 10K a month, that's like the, the baseline milestone. And once they crack 10K, we help them build a small niche brand such as mine in their respective niches. And uh, yeah, it's going very well. Now, the beautiful thing about that is, again, I don't have to go to some office. I'm, I'm not even wearing socks right now. Let me see. If I could show that, uh, you could do that from, you know, chilling outside in the sun. What I'm gonna do as well is some mobility exercises because I'm getting old, 29 now, soon to be 30. I wanna make sure that I'm that my body's aging well. Take a cold shower after that. Rest is spontaneous. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Overall, it's just my mental health, my physical health go up because I actually have the time and the energy to invest in that. And I don't have to, you know, force myself eating some BS food that is unhealthy for me. What? <laughs> Get out of here. And uh, yeah, so that, that's a great thing. It's a very, very amazing thing. And I really, really appreciate the hell out of that. Look who's ready. <laughs> Plan is, is that Formula One store open now? I don't think so. No Formula One store. God damn it, quarantine. We're gonna go um, grab some food for barbecue. Um, and then, nothing. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> grab the phone, grab the wallet, grab the keys, get the car. Okay, so usually in between, uh, I reply to clients. Uh, either type it if it's quickly, or uh, my, my personal favorite is uh, the voice messages. Sometimes clients have to explain me something, so they uh, voice message me on WhatsApp, or they send me a video you know, of their funnels or of their profiles, and I'll just give them feedback. I usually prefer working on a computer, because typing is easier, looking up things is easier. Oftentimes it's just the phone when I'm like waiting 
somewhere or I'm in an elevator or something like that. It actually works really, really well. We gotta check where we gotta go, but wait a second. So many people think like, oh Max, but if I get uh, 10 clients now or 20 clients, I have to work on them every single day and isn't that a lot of work? Like what about the passive income? What you gotta understand is whatever your niche is, right? Whether you, fee, you teach fitness or nutrition or like I do, I teach business, right? I help people build their own online coaching businesses. Your clients are busy executing, okay? You don't give them a bunch of information that you reiterate to them for hours every day. No, it's not about information. You help, you help them get transformation. And the transformation entails that they actually implement these things that you're telling them, that they actually execute things. That means your clients are busy executing. All the clients that I'm working with, they execute things, then they reach out to me or my team, they get a little bit of feedback, and then they're back to executing. So it's not like you have to work with them for hours every day. You implement the things or you make sure they implement these things, you give them feedback and then for them it's back to executing and for you it's back to whatever it is that you want to be doing. That's what I want to say. Thank you. We're at the store. I haven't been at a grocery store in a while. But now let's see. Let's see how it goes. Is that the guy from The Hobbit? <laughs> I don't know. Tell me why Go get my fitness flakes on. <laughs> what are you gonna make? Healthy vegan burgers. That are not healthy and not vegan. All right, I'm gonna get a lot of hate from total barbecue pros. I'm not a pro. We're just freestyling stuff. And this is all vegan, except for the cheese. So comment down below. <laughs> This place actually has a jacuzzi, pretty nice. And uh, we're gonna do some more manual lead gen. I got people reaching out to me. So what you have to understand is like, at our level, I have a team who's supporting me. It's going very, very well. We're aiming at uh, going from multiple seven figures to eight figures a year. When you're getting started, your first goal is to get to 10K. And it's exactly the same. Like, obviously I have ads running, I have different funnels, I have a bigger brand, but when you're starting out and you wanna to get to the first 10K, this is what you do. Getting to your first 10K is very, very similar. What I'm doing, all you do is you do manual lead gen. You do not need to have a big brand. You do not need to have um, a book out or a podcast or some things. Those are things that you can think about when you're being around the six figure a month. But to get started, all you need is to know where your target audience is. You need to follow the scripts that we give you, follow the strategies, and that is it. And again, that's that's a chill thing. You can work from wherever you want. If you want to work in a jacuzzi, you can do that. Uh, I don't recommend it. I like just, again, like sitting on a computer, having, you know, some quiet head. Some people like working from a coffee shop. That's totally fine as well. And uh, let's see what the rest of the evening brings. I'm slowly but steadily sinking in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, GG. Hey, go away. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna go play some Doom now. Um, don't worry, she has no. She doesn't know how to play well, this game. I don't, know. Uh, don't get hit by the fireballs. I play usually. It's time for my real job, playing Doom Eternal. God damn it! I'm gonna switch to the B camera now. All right, let's do this. It's also the flashing in the corner of my eyes. I'm getting all paranoid here, man. I finished it all already once, uh, but I haven't, uh, haven't gotten all the weapons. And again, I forgot what I have to do at this point. That's a very climactic, uh, very climactic day in the life part here. I actually bring my PlayStation uh, whenever I travel somewhere. I used to be a very avid gamer in my teenage years. And then uh, I spent my early 20s you know, working really hard and I felt uh, that uh, playing video games was a huge distraction for me, so I stopped it. And then uh, back in uh, 2006, after I made my first million, I think, I started picking up the PS4 and um, I liked it. And I play occasionally, I play maybe an hour a day, maybe two maximum. Most of the time I don't even get to play it. And also I shouldn't talk while playing, I realize because I'm about to die. So yeah, that's that's my relationship to gaming. I don't, oh, that's why there's one of these things that, there he is. And as we're slowly wrapping up the day, uh, there's two more thoughts that I want to share with you. And that is number one, gratitude. It, it sounds so utopian and uh, some people have heard me saying this before. No, no day passes where I'm not eternally grateful for the life I'm able to live and for the great mentors in my life and for the fact that my whole journey 
up until now and then up until the day I die, I, I've always had access to mentors. I've always had access to smart people, great people, people that were far further um, in their journey than me. I, I always had the opportunity to learn and I've always had access to all these great people, be it offline or online. And uh, from the offline times when I was traveling the world, I met so many amazing people and I'm so grateful for for every single experience that I was allowed to live. I'm grateful that I'm able to work from home. It has always been my dream, especially in times like these. You know, I feel like nowadays you don't even know if you're gonna be allowed to go to work anymore. And I'm happy that, you know, I've built something online that I could do independent of location or time. And like I said, no night passes where I'm not lying in my bed and I'm just kind of like take a second or 30 seconds staring at the ceiling and just being like, is this real? Is this, um, is this possible? Have I really done this? And you might have heard me saying this in my very, very old videos on my, on my very first channel that I back then always thought it's not real. And that thought continues to this day. I'm like, this can't be real. And the second thing I wanna share is I'm really happy that I get to be of a helping hand for others. Because when I was in my early 20s and I was frustrated about my what my future looked like, I was studying Latin and English, about to become a teacher for high school. And if you're a teacher for high school, school and you love it oh my god really amazing my my sister is a teacher for high school she loves it but I kind of felt like it it's not something that I was passionate about I told myself if I find a way out if I find a way to live the exact life I want to be living then I want to turn around and and be a helping hand for someone else and like I said I've always had mentors that helped me get there and surely I want to make a ton of money I'm not a, a good Samaritan don't get me wrong I, I I do it because I want to be free and I do it because I want to make a lot of money but at the same time I also like the deeper appreciation the deeper satisfaction that you get from helping others you have the surface level things where it's like oh I get to travel I get to be free I get to do baller stuff but then you have the the deeper level um, meaning the deeper level uh, satisfaction that is uh, sharing, sharing with others. That sense of fulfillment is really, really strong. And also obviously when we see clients coming to us from absolutely zero, they have no prior business experience or they have a little bit of experience or they have offline experience only and then we build something with them out of nothing. And then you see that client slowly over the weeks starting to wake up and become more confident and, and uh, become wealthier and then also seeing them giving back to their parents or their loved ones or their family or their children. That is really amazing. Being part of this upward spiral is why I'm still doing this. I do not want you to underestimate that. Whenever you're seeing, you know, maybe on my Instagram or, or here on YouTube, you, you're seeing us doing cool things. Those are surface level cool things and goddamn amazing. Highly recommend you doing that. But don't forget the deeper fulfillment. Um, even of moments like these, just chilling here, and I don't know if you hear the birds chirping, but I do, and I love that. And um, being part of something great, being part of the upward spiral of success, of fun, of freedom. Uh, even if you're just a tiny little bit of a part, then that makes me very happy. So I want to thank you at this point, checking out this video. You do not need to leave a like if you don't want to. I don't give a damn, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not an influencer who lives off your clicks. Um, if you like this video, you can go watch the other videos. I'm doing a lot more how-to, more hands-down instructions on this video. Uh, on the, the this channel uh, if you like this channel go hit that subscribe button go watch the other videos mm. the other videos are very informative you can learn a lot from that and um if you have any feedback any suggestions leave a comment down below i guess i do read them i don't get a lot of them so i, I can i can actually have a look at them so yeah thank you really thank you very much if you're a client of mine Thank you very much. I'm, I'm happy that you're executing. I'm happy that you're getting results. If you're someone who's just new on this channel, thanks for checking it out. If you're someone who's been following me for a long time and is not a client yet, that's cool. Thanks for that as well. Really appreciate the hell out of you and um, much love. GG. May the force be with you. See you next time.